Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarah, otherwise known as Sarah Says Hi. And today we are checking our blood glucose levels with the Franz Keto Bread. I tend to rely on my blood glucose readings rather than ketone readings only because my ketone levels are kind of low anyways. Um, I would say on average my ketones are about 0 0.7. Um, so a ketone test is not going to be a true measurement for me as far as like is this doing an insulin spike. So that's why I care more about blood glucose for me. If you're interested in seeing how this does affect ketones, then you could check out Mary Taquito. I'll put the link down below on her channel. She has done a test on this bread already, so I'll go ahead and link the video for that. Right now, I'm just gonna start off with my blood glucose reading. I suspect it might be a little high because maybe at 10 o'clock at night last night, I was feeling kind of snacky, so I ended up having some chocolate covered pecans before bed, like probably like 15 of them. And um, they have maltitol and maltitol does affect me. For one, I get GI issues. Um, I also suspect that my blood sugar shot up pretty good. So if I see my blood sugar below 100, I will be absolutely surprised. But anyhow, I just wanted to get a base. It is quite early in the morning right now. It's about six o'clock in the morning. Um, that's why it's so dark in here. Let's go ahead and check the blood glucose. <laughs> yeah, it's already pretty high. 103, guys. That's where we're starting at, 103. So let's check out the Franz Keto Bread. I did try this yesterday. Um, I couldn't help it, and I wanted to just give it a try before I actually went into the blood glucose testing today. This is a white bread. Um, it does have kind of a bit of a sourdough smell to it to me, um, which I don't mind. I love sourdough. This is the second keto bread that I have tried. Um, I'm a Chompies girl. I have been using Chompies since I went keto 14 months ago. So Chompies has been my only option for keto bread other than if I want to purchase a bread online, um, which I haven't at this point. So let's go over the details of the Franz Keto Bread. For one slice, it is 40 calories, 1.5 grams of fat. There's 12 grams of carbohydrates with 12 grams of dietary fiber, two grams of soluble fiber. So you're looking at zero net carbs right there. And then it's four grams of protein. Now for the ingredients, bread base, and this is modified wheat starch, wheat gluten, inulin or chicory vegetable fiber, oat fiber, wheat protein isolate. So that's the bread base. Then there's water, soybean oil, contains 2% or less of each of the following. Yeast, salt, sorbic acid, which is a mold inhibitor, fully hydrogenated soybean oil, distilled vinegar, Asorbic acid, calcium proponiate, which is a mold inhibitor, and enzymes. Um, so right away, anything that is hydrogenated, all I know is when I have read about that, that is not good. <laughs> Neither is soybean oil. Um, I have been actually trying to avoid soybean oils. There was a video recently I watched by Dr. Paul Sald Saldino. Um, and he's more like carnivore and he recently put out a video where he showed two studies showing that people that consume soybean oil don't lose weight um, or they have a very difficult time losing weight. Chompy's bread also has soybean oil so I have yet to discover a keto bread that does not use soybean oil. Um, I don't eat keto breads all the time. On average like four pieces, two to four pieces a week. Um, sometimes I don't have any. So yesterday I tried a bite by itself and then I tried it toasted. Yeah, to me, I mean, it smells like white bread. It has a little bit of sourdough smell to it too. 
Um, and there's this interesting swirl pattern. Um, I'll probably take some photos to show it better, but it's throughout. So like even the next piece has a swirl pattern. And what I do like about this is there are holes in the bread, like where the air, whatever, when they're using the baking soda or baking powder, or whatever, when it breaks through. Um, so I do like that. The bread itself is very soft. It does feel like a normal white bread, what I would call a normal white bread. Even the crust feels like a normal white bread crust. Um, so what I did notice was when I took a bite of the bread, just like this, um, it tasted like a normal bread to me, like a normal white bread. However, I don't have a toaster, but I warm up even my chompies, I warm it up in the air fryer and it does get toasted in the air fryer. At least chompies does. Usually it's like one edge of it will get nice and dark. Um, this bread, however, did not toast. Maybe I did it wrong, so I'm gonna try to see if I could get it right today. Um, it did not get like a burnt toast. It didn't get like the burnt marks, if that makes any sense. It didn't turn, it didn't change color is what I'm trying to say. It looked exactly like this when it came out of the air fryer. So I'm going to see if maybe that was just a phenomenon and to see if we can actually toast it today. Um, so again, I will just take a bite on camera so you can see. It's pretty identical to me as a white bread, as a normal white bread. It, of course, it doesn't have that sweetness. Um, it doesn't have that exact flavor as a normal white bread, but this is pretty close. This is just about as close as you can get to a keto friendly white bread. Um, so what I'm going to do now is toast it in the air fryer, show you if there's any changes, and then I'm going to go ahead and put some butter on it to eat the rest of it and then get to the blood glucose test in an hour after I eat it. So I was able to get it to toast. It's very, very hot. Just burned me <laughs> again. There we go. Still trying to focus on me. So you can see it got just a little bit, not evenly, but that's just kind of how the air fryer does it. You can hear it. There. So there, you can see it there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and put some butter on it. If you can hear that, it definitely sounds like a toast now. So here is the butter on it. All right, here we go. It is now a crouton just to get it to toast like that, even to change any kind of color, it's a crouton. And what I mean by that is now by taking a bite, normally a toast will still stay a little soft on the inside. It's not, it's like crunchy on the inside now too. So that's a bummer. Um, Chompies doesn't do that. Chompies stays nice and moist on the inside still like soft like a bread. This tastes like a crouton or a cracker now. More of the crouton. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating this and then I'm gonna set my timer for an hour. I will see you guys back in an hour. Hi guys, so it has been one hour. It is now 7.31 and I am going to check the blood glucose. Oh my God, guys. <gasps> 157. Oh man, no. Remember I was 103 before, so I'm not even gonna check it in another hour. That's a no for me. Mm -mm. Eee. Bad news guys, bad, bad news. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And when you do, don't forget to hit that little bell icon and that'll notify you every time I have uploaded a new video. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.